Hello Maple Addicts, it's Roy here from Maple World. We've had a few people ask, when are you going to do your next video for 2023, seeing as it's spring? Well, the sun's about to set and the rain clouds are coming in, so let's get this video done. Let's see what 2023 brings, because what has started off over 30 years to be a bit of an addiction has now turned into Maple World, the start of a small family business specializing in Japanese maples. So let's do a quick cultivar highlight. First one, so a belated Happy New Year for everybody, for all our subscribers. Thank you so much for asking and for seeing some of these maple cultivars. So some of these in these greenhouses are some of our stock plants. We'll show you around some of these where in the last few years we've acquired now over 350 different new exciting cultivars. So let's go around and have a look at the very early spring colours. Now some of these haven't fully leafed out yet. It's the middle of April. But here we have Asa Parmatum Ayoagi Gawa. And in front of that we have Kawahara Rose. Out in the back here underneath we have Hamahime Yatsubusa and Asa Parmatum Ayobajo. Back here, a little bit eaten by black fly, we have Asa Parmatum Beni Shirash. And now here we have Orangeola. This is an interesting one. Serrated leaves. This is Hatsukoi. And we have Muri Habari. Again, this year we've had uh, no late frosts, but we have been inundated with black fly. We don't use sprays here, so we let the ladybirds take care of them. We have Uenoyama. And here's a very interesting foo type. This is this pillowed palmatum here called uh, Toshi. We have these lovely, almost downy when they first come out. This is uh, Asa Shirasawanum Gloria. And this big leaf one at the back is Lisa. Here we have Green Snowflake, this is another Shirasawanum, very dissected leaves. And we have another Shirasawanum here, this is Red Dawn, again very downy. We have Asa Parmatum Kaga Kajaku, and we have Sensu here in the background. This lovely coloured peach, pink. Lovely spring colours. This is Asa Palmatum Mishiki no Murasaki. Here, just opening up now, is uh, Peve Stanley. Goes a lovely deep dark colour. Then we have some of these reticulated types here. This is Como. We'll be doing some uh, cultivar highlights on Como and some of the other reticulated types. Here we have Ibo Nishiki. And look at these, these are almost like flowers in the background. This is a very early, it hasn't fully come out yet. This is a uh, Higasayama, absolutely beautiful cultivar, lovely pillowed, variegated form. In the back here, just about to open up, this is another Shirasanum, this is Suzanne. We have Asa Parmatum, Red Crusader. This lovely orange and peach. This is Momiro Koyasan. And behind that, this little tiny dwarf just poking out now. This is Asa Palmatum Zoe. Let's look at this, some of these. This is uh, Ichigoji. It's just starting to get those red tips on the leaves. Just starting now. Then we have Asa Palmatum Longman. This is a very interesting cultivar, especially in the autumn. It goes a fiery oranges and reds. This is my daughter's favourite one here, <laughs> mainly because of the name. This is a uh, very tight, internodal palmatum called Miss Piggy. Hiding in the background, just opening up, that's Shiyuka. I wonder if we can see there. Now this is unfortunate. 
I had, uh, I had a planter that fell over on about five plants, broke them right at the base of the graft. And this one's come back, this is Beni Shishi Henji. But uh, very beautiful, very beautiful plant that <laughs> happily has come back to life. This big leafed one at the back, this is Kanzai Sukabani, followed by Patricia in the corner. This one here, this is another pillowed form, beautiful as it's coming out. This is uh, Karasugawa. So this green form here is Kanzai Akagarasu. And you can see this lovely amber color, pinky, just coming out now into leaf. It hasn't thickened up yet, but this is Asa Palmatum Amber Ghost. This is another unfortunate breakage right at the stem this is another one this is japanese sunrise but it did come up a lovely deep red pink red in the in the spring a lovely orange red bark interest but with a lovely leaf shape as well this lovely fresh green this is japanese sunrise we're gonna run through some of these this dissectum here this is uh, emerald lace and then this red stalk at the background, I don't know if you can see. This is a Circinatum, that's Pacific Fire, hasn't come out yet. This is a lovely shape, small, deciduous, upright. This is Werner's Pagoda. And then this lovely linear lobum with these fresh spring red, orange and yellow leaves. This is Villa Taranto. We have Margaret B, another palmatum. Very fast growing, this one. Will form quite a large tree, maybe 15, 20 feet in 10, 15 years. And then we get through to some of these other Nishiki types. Nishiki meaning brocade in Japanese. So a lot of these types, these lovely variegated ones here. This one here is another Karasugawa. This is Tayo Nishiki. Harasame in the back and this lovely look at the color on this pink red one here this is shishio improved also known as shin shishio which means the same thing we have another reticulated type just opening up now this is uh asapamatum miwa very similar to sister ghost but it has a very different habit this other pink beautiful pink here this is a one that will always sell out as soon as you make them available this is Shinda Shoujo just about to leaf out look at these lovely dissected leaves with apricot green stripes that's Kujaku Bato this lovely pink powdery pink spring color this is Asa Palmatum Hino Tori Nishiki and that sound is the rain coming in. We got inside just in time. Look at this lovely coral colors here. Very small leaves, perfect as a patio container. This is Asa Palmatum Coral Magic. This other very finely cut leaf. This is uh, a very small, slow growing tree. This is Beni Ubi Gohan. This is a, an interesting cultivar, very small. Very tightly layered palmatum. This is fireball. And another nishiki here. This is Aizumi nishiki. Look at the way that these little nodes and leaf ends just curl. Very interesting. And this becomes more pillowed, more brocade in the summer months. Just leafing out here. Looks a bit sparse, but we'll come back in a few weeks and uh, have a catch up. This is a this is a vine maple. This is Asa circinatum munro. This is Asa japonicum. This is Kajaku bato. We have Benny Masuri at the back. Still hasn't leafed out here at the front. Is uh, Elizabeth, one of my favourite small, very tightly uh, ball shaped uh, red. Quite late to uh, to come out. This one here is uh, 
Wakehurst Pink. And uh, this is another showstopper. This is a rock star in the garden. We have Benny Kamachi. We have Red Dragon here at the front. Kurunai Jishi. Very small, hasn't even come out properly yet, but um, this is the red, the red version of Shishi Gashira. This is the uh, red lion maple. And under there you've got Hup's Dwarf. Let's go into our... Oh, we're going to get wet here. <clears throat> okay, we have Red Cloud, another Palmatum. Oshubeni. Very similar next to each other in the background. This is Sherwood Elfin. Very similar leaf shape, but the uh, the structure and the growth rate is very different. Koba Shoujo. Clarabelle's looking a bit poorly. That's uh, been eaten by the black fly. This is a beautiful cultivar. Don't know if we should call it a, a full dissectum, but it's got these heavily serrated dissected leaves. This is uh, wait. This is Vix Pink. Beautiful. This is another very rare introduction. This is Acer Palmatum uh, Dissectum, Dai, D-A-I. This was one of my favorites last year out of all the reds, the red uprights. Very big leaves, quite a fast grower. Almost a Shirasawanum. Very fluffy on the leaves. Um, but when it's, uh, when the rain sits on it, it's the most vibrant red holds its color really well throughout uh, throughout the summer and we have Tukushigata here here's a range of uh, second and third year uh, understock this is just um, standard Acer palmatum subspecies palmatum out of the these are in their third year now these are all I think there's 453 year old ones that will be used either towards the end of this year or next spring for uh, cultivation for understock for grafting look at the size of this japonicum it's only a baby this is only probably two years old grafted now but this japonicum is atarii and behind it we have aconitifolium also called uh, Maikajaku is the original name, but look at these tassel flowers. That's the beauty of these, of these Japonicums. They do have a lovely flower, not insignificant. This small leaf variant behind here is Acer palmatum helena. This big one here that looks more like a Circinatum than a, than a palmatum. This is um, a Dutch introduction called uh, Herbsfeuer. We have Hefner's Red, beautiful shape. Again, one of my favourite upright red dissectums. Behind here we have a, a Viridus, always lovely green. We have Itami Nishiki, we have a Shirasawanum Johin. And look at that Bewley's Red there. This Another one of my favourites. This is probably one of the most finely dissected dissectums you'll find. This is Ryla's Red, known in uh, parts of uh, North America as Red Feathers. The proper name is uh, Ryla's Red. We have Sherwood Flame. This one here has gone crazy. This is uh, only two years old, but it's, um, it's already showing signs of green and it's just opened up. This is uh, Lazita. This looks like a cross between Amber Ghost and Purple Ghost, just opening up now. This is Acer Palmatum Reticulatum, Reticulatum Purple. As opposed next to it, another reticulated type. This here is Grandma Ghost. And this one here, another Nishki type or Aridino type. This is called Mama Fu. And still not open yet is another one very similar uh, with the golden uh, with the red red nails um, like Sumagaki. This is uh, Saku. So uh, we'll transfer now to some of the other greenhouses. Here we have 
something I've been after for a long time. Very difficult to find in the UK. This is uh, this is Esk Sunset. Asa Pseudoplatinus. Esk Sunset. Beautiful. So here we have some of our other stock plants. Um, some of these are ready to go now all prepared and ready to go. We have a number of uh, fireballs. We have another Villa Taranto in the background. We have some orange dreams with a bee wanting to go to sleep. We have some butterflies and we have a new introduction very similar to orange dream. This is orange lace. I'm not sure what this is, it's marked as uh, Asia, Asa Shurasaranam King Kekure. That certainly is not King Kekure. If we look round here. Uh, this is a King Kekure. It's a completely different colour. Because uh, King Kekure is also a Surinam for uh, Asa Shurasaranam Aureum. Which is a golden full moon maple. So the other one definitely has been mislabeled. This one, I fear, this is Autumn Glory. I think this might have died. We've uh, got some dye back here. So I think the roots here have died. So this is a shame. This is a beautiful, probably one of the best autumn showing plants, but those buds just aren't swelling. Here we have uh, Asa Palmatum, Dissectum, Ornatum. We'll come back in a few weeks and see these in their full glory. Here we have uh, Flavicens and Amuriyama. Let's go into another greenhouse where we have a selection of, uh, well, there's a dead almond pine. Here we have uh, Sequoia sempervirens adpressor. So uh, Sequoia sempervirens is, um, all of our native ones have all died this year in the heat of last summer. But this is a, a very attractive conifer, nowhere near as big as the uh, the coast redwood that this is a sport from, but um, goes lovely, lovely white colours, and is actually a dwarf. I mean, in perspective, it's not an 80 foot tree like the uh, parent plant, but this might grow 15 feet in 10 years. We have some Cryptomeria, Japonicas, we have uh, Lebanese cedar, we have a deodar. We have Picea Glauca, Sun on the Sky, Pinus Puce, we have some Giant Redwoods, Ponderosa Pine, Pinus Radiata Aurea, very funky, Pseudosuga Menzii, also known as the uh, commonly the Douglas Fir, and we have another Cryptomeria Japonica, this one is Second Suki. So most of the plants that come into the UK, especially Japanese maples, all derive from Holland. They're, they're Dutch imports, which is why many times you'll find problems like this. These are these are these were labelled as uh, Asa palmatum, a new introduction called Going Green. They are really a beautiful sight in the spring. Well, I can assure you that this is more like Orange Dream, but it's not. This is some I don't know what it is, but it's neither. And this looks like a very fine, small-leaved, green Trompenberg. But again, this is mislabeled. When we go into the front of the property, we'll show you what a proper going green should look like. Here we have some others that are doubled up. These will be ready this year to ship out. We have a few Asa palmatum Hino Tori Nishkis. We have a number of those. We have some Oridano Nishkis. There's another Pacific Fire. This uh, Circinatum. Very interesting because um, they have big vine maple leaves and yet this red colour stays red all year round. And we have another one here. This is lovely pillowed form. This is uh, Tayonishki. There's a few of those. And let's switch to the front of the property where we can see another 150 or so Japanese maples. So this part of the property, this is 
generally in full shade most of the day. Get some early morning sun. This is Ruby Ridge. This is another bigger Takariyama. And this came out of the ground. We've had this one in the ground for about six years. Let's try and get in focus here. This is actually a little princess and it's tiny. It's no bigger than when we put it in the ground. It, it didn't like its original position. So we've put it in a pot. Here's a new introduction. This is uh, Ace Palmatum Dissectum Black Lace. This is a Floating Clouds. Usagumo. Ukigumo. Sorry, Usagumo is the Pictum. The back. This isn't the back wing maple. This is the uh, Floating Clouds Palmatum. This is always very late to come out. We'll, uh, we'll do a follow-up video on this. This is a beautiful tree. That's why it's in a big pot. It's actually been here about four years. Actually, it's a pot within a pot. That will need to come out soon. This is Asa Palmatum Chikuma No. This is a stunning variety. This is Kaiser. Asa Palmatum. This is another linear lobum style. This is Asa Japonicum Charlotte Allen. We'll go up and see. We'll go up and see Bob. This is uh, Asa Palmatum. Uh, I believe this one is Suminigashi. We have a big six foot orange dream. This one here is Trompenberg. We have Satsuki Benny still in uh, still in bud. Here we have peaches and cream just starting to open up now. And we have Shiraz. Here just opening up here is uh, Jerry Schwartz. The Palmatum, the green one in the background here. That's Sycamore. I believe this one is Manu no Sato. We have Asa Shirasawanum. This is, I think this is Autumn Moon. Now this was probably my favorite out of everything I had last year. It's the most unusual color. I've never seen it before or since. We need to definitely get this into propagation. This is Murasaki Shikabu. We will definitely be doing a cultivar highlight on this because I've never seen it before or since. And it's just too beautiful not to share. This is Asa Palmatum Fena. Goes through a multitude of colours. Apologies for the pots. We uh, <laughs> All this is frost damage. We have some lovely dandelions. <laughs> this is Asa Palmatum Kinshi. This is Asa Japonicum. Green Cascade. Asa Dissectum Octopus. Asa Palmatum Redwood. This is Moonfire. And 10 guesses for this, which is just leafing out. You know what this is stick it in the comments below behind just leafing out we also have uh, a butterfly and that's about eight years old sorry about the weeds in this big pot here we have a five foot tall blood good just leafing out now we have uh, asa shuasaranum I believe this is Jordan. This is uh, Samadari. Another one of my favourites. 
again we'll have to come back in a few weeks to see this one but this is uh, this is Acer Palmatum Dissectum Baldsmith So I believe this one, this big plant, is about five, six years old. This is Osakazuki. Now, this is what going green should look like. This is the form, very small leaves. It's only just opened up. This will thicken out again over the next few weeks and you'll see a marked difference. This is Acer Japonicum. Fairy lights. So Shishigashira, lion's head maple. Here we have Ace of Palmatum rainbow. In the middle there, just opening up this very downy, almost shirasanum like. This is Cindy. This is Ace of Palmatum Akushimo also known as CRISPR. This again, we have to come back and see this one. It was stunning last year. This is Will's Divine, beautiful pink. And Ace of Palmatum, English Town. And this one that's gone crazy this year, in the big pots, that was no bigger than the rest. Very fast grower. This is uh, Ace of Palmatum, Kinran. We'll come back and do another highlight video on this one. I believe when this leaves out, this will be Ann Irene. This is Kihachi Joe. This is this is Mike Jaku, also known as Aconitifolium, this is another one. Just leafing out now, this is a summer gold. Yeah, we're a bit early for the ones in this part of the property. This is unmistakable, this is uh, Koto Noito, Linear Lobum. This large five foot plant just coming in now. This is a Lillian's Jewel. We can't wait for this to come out. This will be the first year. It should be in full display. This is... Uh, this is this is Asus uh, Shuasa and Moonrise. And here on this high graft... I thought for a long time this was Twombly's Red Sentinel, but it's not. I forget. So, post in the comments what you think this plant is. This is reticulated purple. I've been after this for so long, as soon as I got uh, my hands on a few, I bought about 15 of them. Absolutely stunning. This one here is Dissectum rubrum, I believe. And to finish off in this garden, this is Acer Palmatum and Irene. Thank you for sharing uh, your thoughts. If you like this video and you want to see some more of these as they grow, please feel free to give this video a like and also subscribe if you want to see weekly updates as our family nursery grows. This is Ace Palmatum Sister Ghost. This is Red Bamboo. Here we have a Sirio. Yeah, Benny Maker. This is the unmistakable silhouette of Mikawa Yatsubusa. Just starting to leaf out. This is a Shigatatsu Sour, next to which is a Pixie, followed finally by Ace of Palmatum 
yellow bird. And as we'll pan out, we'll say thank you for watching and we'll leave you with the glory of Mikawa Yatsubusa. We'll see you soon in the next video. Take care, Makeable Fanatics. See you soon.